Planting trees and shrubs is a relatively simple process with a few basic but very important steps. Today I'm going to show you the right way to plant a tree or shrub to get it right every time. Now the first thing you want to do is dig a hole that's at least two times, preferably three times wider than the plant itself. So once you take it out of the container, you can check the width and you can also check the depth. That's the other very important part of the initial process. You want to dig a hole that has a firm foundation, but you don't want to make it any deeper than how the plant was growing in the container. And preferably, you want to plant it slightly high. Now a good way to gauge that is to take your tool, whatever you were digging with, or just something with a straight length on it, and rest it on the grade. And then compare that to the base of the plant. What you're looking for is an equal amount of height or something slightly higher. And for me, that's the perfect height. Just about 25% higher than the grade is perfect. And then you can just grade down the soil and then the water will run off. But the worst thing you can do is plant it too deeply and then the water just pulls into the center and potentially can drown your plant. Now, the other very important thing at this stage is to break up the root ball because as you can see, even with this one, these roots are tightly wound around in a circular pattern. You really need to break the roots up so that you can tease the growth of future roots out into the planting hole. But if you don't do this at this point, chances are those roots are never gonna explore the new area and your plant is never gonna fully establish and you just don't want that. So this is your only chance to give these roots an opportunity to break apart, break up that circular pattern so they can now ex start exploring their surroundings. And even cutting at the bottom is just as important as every other part of this root ball. You really want to liberate those roots so they can go out and explore their surroundings. So now we've got the base, we've got the hole nice and wide, at least three times as wide I think in this case. And next, it's simply a matter of backfilling the hole with native soil. Okay, that looks really good. The grade is tapering slightly away from the center of the plant out to the existing grade. That's exactly what I want. That way the water's not gonna pool in the middle, but slowly run off to the edges, and that's just fine. Okay, only two more things left to do. Add the mulch and water it in. And watering it in is so critical at this point, you have to establish this plant. So the order of that doesn't really matter, but let's go ahead and add the mulch first. I'm using a ground pine bark mulch. Really good for this region of the country and these plants. This happens to be a hydrangea paniculata variety limelight, in case you're wondering. And so I'm gonna go for about a one to two inch layer of mulch all the way around the perimeter of this plant. But there's one important thing that you need to do when you're adding mulch, and that is to keep it away from the base of the plant by about an inch or two at least. You don't really want to have the mulch coming in direct contact with the base of the plant. That sort of creates a highway for certain pest or diseases that could potentially infect the plant. So you don't want to give that opportunity to them. All right. Okay, so the mulch is at least out as far as the drip line and beyond, which is even better, but at least to the drip line, and I've got that in spades. So now it's time to water it in. And I like to give it a good thorough soaking. And this is a bubbler. It delivers a lot of water slowly, and it does it at a rate where the water can just soak into the plant. So, okay, so at that rate, it's a nice, steady, thorough soaking. I've got it set for 15 minutes. And so while that's watering in, I can just clean up and we are done. This is the right way to plant a tree or shrub. You do that and you'll plant it the right way every time.